Is sugar found in fruit bad for you? I hear this all the time. Um, Dr. Gil Calvallo brought to mind a study where they actually talked to doctors who worked in the field of nutrition and said, what are the 10 myths that bother you, <laughs> bother you the most or frustrate you? And one of them was this, and I'm definitely in agreement because I hear it all the time where patients will say, um, you know, I love fruit, but, but I don't eat too much of it, or I really don't eat fruit, I love it, but, but I know it has too much sugar. And that's, that's really not, not the case. So what do we know about fruit? Now, there's fruit and there's fruit juice. So uh, when, we're, when I'm talking about fruit, I'm talking about eating the whole fruit. So you're eating the whole orange, of course, you know, you're eating the berries, uh, but what you're not doing is drinking orange juice. So there's a very, very different situation there because you've lost the fiber, which is very key. Uh, the phytonutrients are there to a degree, but actually when you sort of refine the fruit by turning it into juice, you're losing a lot of the health benefits. A lot of times uh, diabetics are told, don't eat any fruit. And um, this is unfortunate because the science does not support that. There's been many studies that have looked at fruit ingestion and found that it doesn't compromise um, diabetics as far as their hemoglobin A1C, which is measured in their bloodstream or their blood sugar levels, as long as they're eating it as part of a healthy diet, of course, and they're eating the whole fruit. Um, so another study looked at, um, compared different amounts of fruit and they, they didn't do a huge change in the amount, but they didn't see any change in weight and they didn't see any change in, in blood sugar amount. But there are generalized studies that show that if there's more fruit in the diet, not only is there a lowered risk of diabetes, but there's a lower risk for overall mortality. Now, there's an association of the people who are eating fresh fruit tend to generally have a healthier diet than people who don't eat any fruit or uh, are just drinking fruit juice and that's it. So there's, it can be hard with some of these studies because there, there are habits that go along with certain things like I'm a fresh fruit eater and you probably have a lot of other good habits as well. But generally speaking, when we're looking at fruit and eating whole fruit, we're not seeing a problem with blood sugar levels. We're seeing actually a decreased risk uh, toward type 2 diabetes, more stable uh, diabetes. We're not seeing weight gain. So none of these things that um, is attributed to fruit in a negative fashion has been found. Now, there was an, a study done uh, in 2013 where they were looking at specific fruits, and they looked at uh, blueberries, bananas, apples, pears, and grapefruit. I think everything but the the bananas I could understand, but that whole group together showed a decreased risk. Uh, peaches and oranges were neutral, and then cantaloupe was, was a negative. So there was a bit more um, sugar in the cantaloupe per this study. But then they looked at dates, which are very sweet, but dates have a lot of fiber. And they saw a benefit with dates, a benefit with eating whole grapes, again, not drinking the grape juice, which is pure sugar. Uh, but whole grapes, whole dates, um, berries are definitely something that we find to be very helpful. So I would love to put to bed this concern about whole fresh fruit because it's actually very good for you. There's great fiber, there's great phytonutrients, phyto just means plant, and antioxidants that are found in, in fruit that aren't found anywhere else. And that's where your diversity of your diet with fruits and vegetables is so important because you're getting benefits that you're not getting anywhere else. And again, that's why variety, eating a colorful diet, this will give you these special nutrients that you can't find when you're out of the plant kingdom. So I hope you found this interesting. Please enjoy your fruit. Don't drink your fruit. That's my favorite expression. Eat your, chew your fruit. Don't drink your fruit. And, um, and, but do enjoy it and make it part of a healthy diet. And um, if you enjoyed this information, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so more people can see our information. Let me know any other questions you have regarding diet. I know it can get confusing out there. Uh, but healthy fruit can definitely be part of a really healthy diet, so enjoy.